You see this weird tree with the double trunk behind me? Today, I'm gonna be attempting a very special challenge. So basically, the puck is gonna have to go in the gap here. So I don't know how much time this is gonna take me. Let's go find a good spot and start shooting that puck. By the way, guys, I've done an extremely similar challenge last winter. I think the puck had to hit the tree. It didn't have to go in the gap. It only had to hit the tree but unfortunately I failed. There was a lot of ice on the ground and I just couldn't get a good shot. So I thought, why not try this challenge again before the winter this time? All right guys, so I think this is the perfect spot to start shooting that puck. There's a little bit of shade for the camera. So let's go, first shot. First shot! First shot! It's crazy. I thought this was gonna take me hours. Oh my gosh, I was ready to spend the next two hours here doing this challenge. I'm buying a freaking lottery ticket tonight. I don't know if we could see very well from the angle that I positioned the camera in, but basically the puck hit this trunk first, then this one, and it slowly went in the back of the tree right there. Guys, when I do these types of challenges, it usually takes hours. I am shocked. For the fun of it, let's go back over there and see if I can do it twice in a row. I would be surprised, but we never know. Let's go. All right, everything is in place. Let's attempt to make that shot a second time in a row. Oh my god, twice in a row, this is insane guys, oh my gosh, I have to check on that puck. Guys, the puck did one straight line in the gap, let's go check on it, let's try to find it, oh right there, damn that was a good shot. Just so you know, this is not an easy challenge, okay. To be honest, I think the distance is a little less than 50 meters, maybe 30, 35, something like that. I mean, I used to play hockey, so maybe it's natural for me. But if you're not a hockey person, this is impressive. And a good idea that I had right before taking my second shot, look what I did. So I basically cleared the ground a little bit, uh, just a little circle right there, as you can see. I think it helped my shot to be more accurate and as we saw it worked okay guys i think i'm gonna try to make this shot a third time in a row if it happens guys honestly i'm already speechless about this but if i make it a third time in a row guys i'm going to the casino tonight because i don't know what's going on i'm so lucky today all right everything is ready guys if i make this shot a third time I'm officially a hockey god. Let's see. Miss, but I still hit the tree. Okay, so that shot was pretty accurate. It just hit the right trunk over there and it bounced off right here somewhere. I don't see it. Where's the goddamn puck, guys? Where's the goddamn puck? Oh, right there. Got it. All right, guys. So there's one last challenge that I just thought of that I'd like to try today. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the puck on the palette of my stick and I'm gonna try to send it as high as I can in the air and catch it with my palette. So it's gonna be a pretty tough challenge. Let's do it. Hockey season just started. I'm a huge fan. Shout out to all the hockey players out there. You guys are awesome. Oh my god, I got it guys. Okay everyone, so I think that's it for today's video. Overall, it was very fun. That was one of the best videos I've ever filmed. Everything went well. Usually when I do these types of challenges, unexpected stuff always happens. And as I said before, sometimes it takes hours. Today, it was quick, simple, and uh, I had a lot of fun. So I hope that you guys all have a fantastic day. 
stay tuned i'm working on some awesome stuff right now so i will see you next time peace let's go back home now